Hi everybody, my name is Leanne Tui. Now a few of you may be thinking that I'm just that lady from the blind side. And in truth I am, but there's probably a few things that you may have never known about me. My life has been full of twists and turns, changing in ways I would have never imagined. Um, so today I hope to teach you a few things you may have never known. To begin with, I think you should know I was born in Memphis, Tennessee, where my parents raised me. I love them both very much and credit them for teaching me to work hard and succeed in life. I was an only child until my younger brother, Stanford, was born. Now to paint a picture of the time period, I would like you to imagine being in 8th grade. Your parents and all of your friends' parents are very upset because your school is being integrated. At home, there's been lots of talk of changing schools. That is what happened to me when I was in 8th grade. In the end, my brother and I were pulled out of the public school system and sent to a private Christian school. Growing up with no-nonsense Southern parents, I have always been very headstrong and never wanted to take no for an answer. As a teenager, I saw my parents working hard all the time. My mother would often have two or three jobs to keep paying the tuition for my brother and I to go to a private school. My father was a small town cop who didn't make very much money. No matter what, we always had enough to survive. That influenced me greatly to work hard. When I was 14 years old, I got my first job waiting tables at a restaurant. That same year, I got my hardship license. I got my hardship license because sometimes my parents were very busy and couldn't drive me to work. Or, if I had a dance I wanted to go to, or if I had cheerleading practice, I'd have to find a way to get there, and a hardship license was my solution. That made me grow up very fast and be very mature. Once I graduated high school, I went on to college. I was accepted into the University of Mississippi, or Ole Miss. I graduated Ole Miss with a degree in Science of Interior Design. While I was at college, I met my future husband, Sean. We met December of 1979 and got married a few years later. When we got married, Sean and I didn't have very much money. We worked hard and only had enough to survive. At the time, I knew I wanted children, but we just had enough money to support the two of us. Years later, Sean got into the fast food business. He now owns more than 82 fast food chains. A study in 2000 showed that in America, we spend over $110 billion on fast food a year. Also, Americans spend more on fast food than we do on movies, books, magazines, newspapers, videos, and music combined. By the time Sean had gotten to the fast food business, I had already had both of my two children, Collins and Sean Jr. Sean Jr. goes by the name SJ. It wasn't for quite a few years until we formally adopted our son, Michael Orr. After adopting Michael and learning all about him, I decided to give back more to society. Michael came from a part of town that was so dangerous, some taxi drivers wouldn't drive you to, no matter how much money is offered. It really inspired me to try and help children. Now, if there's a child in need, I will do anything to help. Now, before Michael, I wanted to donate money. I would always donate what was needed for my children's school. When my children's school needed a new track, I got that done. A new football field? Sure. Nowadays, I donate my time to many different charities. I think that every child deserves a home and a bed. One of my greatest accomplishments would have to be um, opening my own design firm with my mother. My mother was an interior designer when I was a child, and now I'm able to run my own business with her experience and my college degree. I've worked hard, my hard work have, has really paid off. I have gotten to design rooms and houses for Peyton Manning, Scotty Pippen, Isaac Bruce, and OJ Mayo. Recently, I have become one of the new designers on Extreme Home Makeover, and I've really en enjoyed designing for them. Um, I think it's for a great cause because it gives people who are really in need a new chance. Over the years, I've had many great experiences and have been lucky enough to have my life change drastically. I hope that you have learned more about me and the life I've led. Thank you.